22 of my weight loss journey, I think I have the most train wreck channel. Because I feel like I'm doing alternate day good job. I'm supposed to be trying to lose 40 pounds. I just finally got back into ketosis. And then I just freaking frigged it up again. I just frigged it up again, doing the same thing I've done this week. And I'm not doing keto strips tomorrow because I did it again. You guys, I did so good before. And now I just keep freaking it up really royally. Like, this is really, really bad. Okay, I don't know why my fingers are super red because I did a client's hair today and she had... Okay, so we're definitely out of trace. And I think that's small, but it's something. Which means I did do good yesterday, okay? Um, you guys, I have a major problem. I have a major, major, major problem. And I don't know why right now it's really bad. I don't feel any bad emotions about anything in life. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. I got a big piece of hair puff coming out of here. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the heck is going on. It's not about anything that I'm eating on the good days. It's not about restricting anything because I've done so many months of pretty decent and it was never this bad as it was this week and then that one day last week. I don't know, but it's not about what I'm eating. I know what to eat. It's not my diet soda. It's not my sugar-free treats. It's none of that because I've lost weight before having all of those things. I'm not going to restrict those things. It's not good to have diet soda. It's not good to do what I'm doing, period. My channel is for showcasing my journey from this crazy situation, the other situations before. I've been on here five years if you're new. Um, I had success at the beginning, and then I just gained it back. And then I've been in the 230 to 260 range for all the rest of the time, okay? But I know how to lose the weight. I'm just not doing it. And this eating problem is just out of control. <sighs> But I'm going to share everything. And I don't know if I'm going to read comments, you guys. Okay, I don't know. I'm used to making a video and reading comments every day. But anyway, here's everything I ate yesterday. I had a mountain of salad, which is why my weight is up. My weight is up 0 0.8, 248. I weighed this morning before work. And that's only because I had a mountain of salad. Okay, that's why. Anytime I have salad, I know, or a lot of vegetables, I always have a heavier weigh in. Some people tell me don't weigh every day. Some people tell me a lot of things not to do. Don't lose 40 pounds in 60 days. Don't do the diet soda. Don't weigh in every day. Okay, all these things I am going to do. And I think that I'll be fine with it. I'm going to eat what I'm choosing, but not the days like what I'm going to show you tomorrow, what I ate today. It's not okay. I should be having no sugar, no dairy, because I can sustain that. I know I can to get to my 183 or even to my 199, um, that's not the problem. The problem is my mental and what the heck is making me do that B word, but it's not the food. I know that. Um, so the only good thing I'm doing here on my channel is showing up every day. I'm showing up every day and I'm showing you the scale every day. I don't know what to say these days. I'm having alternate day, good and bad. So that's weird. I could do alternate. There's someone on here, intermittent fasting foodie. I don't watch her, but I know she has an up day and a down day. I think that's where you eat more calories one day and really low calories the next day, maybe like 500 or 100. I don't know what she does. I'm not interested in watching, but that concept is awesome because that seems like what I'm doing right now. I'm not doing that. I'm doing what I've been doing, but I'm just saying I'm trying to, I've watched some videos on how to stop this B E D situation or how to control it um, because I know I have to figure it out, but it's not a normal issue. And if you don't have it, you don't understand it. Okay. You cannot understand.